So guys, welcome yourself back to the very, very first episode of the Revitalised series of FIFA 18. Now you all know, we had a few problems with work and uni and all that, so I kind of missed out last time, but this time we're going to try a new approach, which hopefully should mean I can build up some backup when it comes to lit times. So what we're going to do, if anyone has heard of a YouTuber called Sneaky P who does Madden, we're going to go down his route. So what he does is... He goes and plays one full game per episode and it's the whole build up all the way up to it and plays it. The games are a bit longer so you can see what's going on, you get to see the full play as it goes on. So we're going to try and do that, try and play through and you can see mistakes I make and the good things I do and I'll chop and edit it and make it a wee bit cleaner and smoother. But overall you'll see most of the game and it'll be a game per episode so it'll be like the day of the game and the game on the title for the video and you can just watch through the season game by game and it'll probably that means there's more chance of me doing daily videos and you're all getting whatever kick you want of it straight off. So guys I hope you look forward to it. Leave a little like down below if you're looking forward to it. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully this can be our best series in the channel yet. We managed to get over a thousand views or something like that on the first episode of the last FIFA so let's see if we can top it this one. Uh, a thousand I thousand views so hopefully we can top it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get straight into this one, to be honest. So I'll go through the teams, and then we'll start the proper system, the way we talked about it. So with default, we have pretty much a powerful team, because in this game, Goss has been really severely low rated, which is a little annoying, but I'm going to try everyone out over time. We've played our friendlies, and this has been the best group of players I've had so far. So in goals, Fods, right back, Tavernier, centre back, Martin McCrory, with John out left, Candace right mid, because him and Tavernier have that psychological link, Murphy out left, Jack and Doherty in the middle, two very quick powerful players in this game, Windass playing just in behind the striker and Morelos up top, but alongside that we also have the two up top tactic, because everyone knows Rangers fans want to see it, so I'm going to be trying using this in some games as well, so we have Fods at the back, same defence except Bates is taking McCrory's place, McCrory's playing in defensive mid position with Jack and Doherty in front, Windass playing in Cam and Morelos and Cummings leading the line. Then we have the team that's going to play when players need a rest. All these players obviously are subject to change depending on how well they do. But Fodds and goals, he doesn't need a rest. Tav, John, two machines, they'll play most games. Martin as well, Bates at the back. Goss and Holt, who actually play in real life and now, they will be controlling in there the now. Candace out right, O'Hara and out left for the legs. Dorns, because he's the most technical player on the team in that position now, and Morelos up top, but that will change with Cummins and even Kenny Miller sometimes, and then we have the B team slash cup team, which is all the players you want to give a wee bit of fitness to, except Hodson, I really don't like Hodson, but we have Tavernier right back, Anakin goals, Alves and Bates at the back, Wallace left back, Middleton, he's that boy we bought for Norwich, the youngster, so I want to try and get him in as much as I can, because he's young, and he's only and he's 6 to 8 already. Rosar, the forgotten man, in the centre with Dorns, O'Halloran out right for the pace, Cranshaw in there to just ping balls about, and Miller up top. But for the very first game, we're going to be playing with the Rangers default, and I'll get yous in the first game of the season against St Johnson. I'll catch yous then. So guys, welcome to the first game, and what I want to show yous is Tavernier will be taking the captaincy of the team. I looked through everyone, and I thought, to be honest, he's been a really vital player for us over the years, and why not give it him? Because Miller isn't playing, Wallace isn't playing, and Holt isn't playing. So, to me, he's next in line. Him, Martin's got the experience, but he's not played for a while, and Jack captain to Aberdeen, but I just, I don't know if he's captain material at Rangers yet, but then again, maybe one day. But we're going to go with Tavernier, with how influential he's been, and we're going to get straight into the game. But before we do that, I'm going to show you all the settings we're playing on. So legendary, we're going to play on 8 minutes so you get a bit more game time to sit and watch. And you are going to see it step by step. The game speed is on slow. Let's get straight into this game and I'll catch you as the players are walking out. So guys, welcome to the first game of the season. Rangers away at St. Johnson. Now this is going to be Rangers years. We're going for 55. Everyone knows it. This is the time. Especially with me in charge, hopefully. G gimmicks is going to create a wee bit of history again. Oh, Martin's got a real face, I love that. Fodenham's got a crack new haircut. I've not played this since the last time we played. There's Morelos with his new haircut. Oh, I like when they top the players up a bit after the update. 
We've been waiting for this update for a while. Now, that is not true. Kandias came for about 750k and Ryan Jack was free, so I don't know what that's about. But we're looking for a good game here. So Johnson have been struggling. They had a good start in real life to the season and then began to struggle. So let's just act like this is the 2019 season and we're going to lead on for here. So we have Jamie Murphy. He also has a real face, so that's very good. So what we're looking is Morelos to continue his real life goal scoring form and the rest of the players to follow suit. Murphy, hopefully you're going to be a legend in this team, mate. So let's go. This time you're obviously going to get an in-depth. The whole thing will be commentated and we'll see how we do. So right for the start, you know we're playing on Legendary, I've showed you. So we have the ball. We're going to play a very slow build-up. Especially because I've not played the game in a while. And the, the fact that the controls feel very shifty now. And that's poor. So I obviously, as I said, I've not played in a while, so you still need to cut me some slack with some of the terrible stuff that I do. It will get better again over the season. But I've just been so clogged up with work that I've not really had a proper chance, but this is where we start again, and hopefully the channel grew great subscribers with this series last time, so hopefully it continues this time. Ball across, Ryan Jack. Oh, really unlucky there, lovely wee ball. And that's again a play we're going to be hoping to go for, loads of... Nice slow build up, then break out to the fast wide players and let them do their thing. Or let the more talented players in the middle do a wee bit. I also need to go in and change their numbers actually. It looks like the Greg Dockett's number's not been updated. He's been given number 12. So that's one thing I'll need to do. I was hoping that would actually be fixed, but uh, fair enough. Oh, and that could have been a bad start. So I'll need to go in and change all their numbers to their proper numbers. Looks like most of them have got their main, their real numbers. It's just Doherty for some reason. But here we go. Hopefully Windass can break away. I think I'll need to show you sliders actually. I'm sure I still have the sliders set for the last uh, series. So uh, I'm pretty sure our players are a wee bit slower than the other team in that. Let's go have a wee check. So what we're going to do is go settings. Then we're going to go to custom controls. Nope. I can't remember where to find sliders to be honest. I think it's here. Yep, user gameplay. Nope, we're all reset. Aye, that's it, aye. So, CPU, their shot error, pass error, and first touch control error is all a lot less now, or they're down to 40, which means that they're not going to misplace pass as much, they're going to not going to hit straight shots as much, and they're going to control the ball a lot better. But, by it looks like Ryan Jack's got, got a head for goal. Keeps trying to get it. Docker in the middle, very powerful. Kinda annoys me that I can't see that 48, because that's what it should be wearing, but we'll take it. So Ryan Jack. Oh lose out rather easily. Murphy, unlucky. Ryan Jack, get in there. Oh Here we have Candias. Lay it out to Candias. Or Kandias to join, then he'll late back out Kandias, and that's a poor pass across. But when Das is in there, good win. Back to the centre, we'll play it out to Doherty. Doherty's going to play it back to Jack, make a run through. Over the top, oh, and it was a poor touch for Morelos, which led to him being unable to play the quick ball. Here's wee McCrory. McCrory's going to be playing ahead of Bates in the main team, although I do like Bates too. I just I, I like to have McCrory in the team, but I want to play Jack and Doherty, so I feel that like McCrory can slip back into the role they join back into the team with. Here we have Kandias. Morelos, and loses it again. It's poor for Morelos. We're hoping for a bit more power play up there. And another good interception. Game feels like it's got a lot more interceptions after the update. <laughs> but then again, that just might be me not playing in a while, and I couldn't remember it. But here we have Morelos again. And he loses it again. His touch is all over the place. Quick ball through. There's Morelos. It actually feels like the ball just wants to bounce off him. Windass. And there we go. 1 0. Josh Windass scored in the first goal of the new series. And it's a good start. 
Josh Windass being a form player in real life, a couple of wee controversial stuff he's done, but I like him as a player very much, and I think he's actually quite vital to the Rangers team. I've always kind of liked him. I was disappointed with him a bit after he'd played that game against Celtic and then just fell away, but under Murray especially, it seems like he's the kind of guy that maybe needs a hug to get playing better rather than getting shouted at, but he's doing well. Let's keep going, see if we can get some more. We've now got a foothold in the game. We're forcing them out for the back, so they need to come play us now. Ball through for Murphy, straight to Windass. Windass has a pop again. And we get ourselves a wee corner. That's good to see. Davenier, what can he do with it here? Straight in the middle to Murphy. Murphy's unlucky there. And the ball's probably just going to go out, unless Windass catches this. And he's caught it. I don't mind it going out either, it doesn't really change much. I actually would have preferred it because now Windass is all the way back. But it looks like he's made a run up the wing for some reason. And it's a poor pass into Morelos, but you can see what he was trying there. Now everyone knows we're going to get a wee bit of cum dog coming on the pitch, that's for sure. I ho hope this video doesn't, you know, not get allowed to upload because I said the word cum dog. Don't know if that's actually allowed or not, but let's just go with it. So as of now, Rangers pretty much in control of the game. Couple of wee chances for St. Johnson, but it's mainly just been Rangers doing their thing. Try to break through. They've not been the most attacking force. But hopefully they can change it with a couple of wee plays here. One dash to Murphy. Murphy over the top. And Morello started cutting back in rather than round, so that didn't really work out. And it looks like Call of Duty seems to have installed. Great. Great timing. And ball's going to go out, hopefully. Oh, and he caught it in time. Goalie done well there, actually. Could have done, done with a wee corner. Ryan Jack's got the ball. It's going to let it into John. John's going to play it outside to Tavernier. Tavernier into Morelos. Morelos through. And Doherty's unlucky with the shot. Just imagine a wee 48 in his back. <laughs> Maybe post-edit and put like, a big cube with 48 written on it. Or a big uh, square. Here we go, ball's through. Oh, Josh Windass just couldn't get it around. The boy tried to cut back there. He's unlucky. So we'll go out here with Tav. Cover him. He does really well, Tavernier. Right, Kandias is great with Tavernier because he covers him behind whenever Tavernier pushes up. Right, here we go, Kandias, take it. Oh, come on, catch that, son. Catch it. Oh, and he's unlucky. Good run for Kandias. Brilliant determination for the boy. See if he can catch him. Oh, ball gets played through well. And Ryan Jack is back into cover really well. And hopefully we can actually make a wee burst here with Murphy. Oh, Morelos is running through it. And he doesn't actually have this legs to get away, but he can move a good ball in. Oh, it's actually far too close to the goalie. It started curling a lot more than expected. So, as of now, Morelos hasn't started as well as I was hoping he was. He was, um, he was laterally the main man of the whole series last uh, series. He was scoring like mad. But, let's see what we can do here. Windass straight across, and it's a lovely wee ball. Uh, Kandias straight across to Windass, and Windass gets his second. And, as you can tell... He's probably going to be a vital part of this series instead. Maybe he'll take Morelos' role and score all the goals this season. Let's go. 2-0 to Rangers. Let's go for five. You can actually... I'd never play on eight minutes, so you can actually have so much more time to do stuff. You can actually build up play a lot more as well. And it's a lovely wee... Uh, I thought it was a bit rough, but I was kind of going to say it's a lovely wee win for Murphy, but sadly not. So here we go. Brilliant power there for Ryan Jack. Fuck, it's Docker, Ryan Jack and Docker here. Quite confusing in the middle, to be fair to them. And that's terrible, that's actually for me. I completely misplaced my run there for some reason. So what we're going to try and do with this is but we're going to try and role play as if we're a commentator with the team. It's I'm going to try and... Look, if I make a mistake, I know I'll make a mistake, but I'm going to be like, oh, it's a terrible pass there for Murphy and all that kind of thing. We're going to try and go with it. 
So here we have Murphy running through. Oh, and he almost got through that wee gap there. I pro he probably should have passed there, to be fair. But he was unlucky there. It was worth a wee try. Oh, and McCrory gets himself in there with a brilliant wee tackle. Tavernier looks to stretch himself out, but Candace jumps straight in. And here we go. Oh, and he's unlucky there. But the ball drops straight back, and Murphy gets the ball played through to him. What can he do with it? And he does a lovely wee bit of skill. Murphy's unlucky there. He's actually very sharp. Cuts in and out really well. So that's us at half time. Team's doing great. We've got a little leeway. So what we're going to do, first game of the season, is try and bring a couple of wee players in here to try them out. So obviously we've got Middleton, who won't come on uh, till later, if he does come on. But we're going to try Jason Cummins up top. Come dog, let's see if he can score. We know he can score in the championship. We've seen him score in the uh, Premier League so far with Rangers. We won. Hopefully, in this game, he can completely surpass everything and score hunters. Sadly, his celebration isn't going to be in the game. Or his tattoos, but we'll, we'll imagine it. Oh, no, and it's terrible. Martin has been completely sidestepped there and they're straight through, but it's a terrible, terrible shot. What we do here? Tavernier gets the ball out wide. Doherty. He's going to play it straight through to Windass. And Skyforge is installed. Murphy. What can he do with it? Cuts in. Oh! And he goes right through the back of Cummins by mistake, trying to get Murphy. That could be dangerous there for St. Johnson. Or at least it looked like it, so let's have another look at it in two seconds. But there seems to be a bit of commotion going on. Murphy's actually such a fun player to play with. And it's only going to be a yellow card for Shaughnessy. So here we can see it here. Does he go through? No, he, he, it's a terrible tackle, but he touches the ball and he doesn't go through the back of Cummins. So we've got no Sean Goss free kick specialist, so Tavernier's going to try it. Oh, and it was a close one actually. A wee bit more power was needed, but he got the right height and depth. And talking about the numbers, it looks like Cummins has also been given the wrong number because I'm sure i just seen 14 on his back there. So that'll be another one we need to change. Right, we went. Yep, Jason Cummins has been given 14, so that's one thing we're going to need to change. Cummins, what can he do with it here? Lovely wee bit of movement. Oh, and Ryan Jack tries to quickly play it through to Doherty, but he's on the... Russell Martin steps in, clears it. Tempted ball to Murphy's just a bit too too ambitious. Oh, and he's unlucky there. Come on, get in there. Brilliant wee tackle there. He's unlucky that he's bounced back. And St. Johnson really putting on a bit more pressure than before. Fodd's going to get the ball here. Always try to play out to the fullbacks and start play for there. So John into the middle, Ryan Jack. He's going to play it through, oh, and it's a lovely wee interception for this Jones boy. It was simple play, easy to read, but we were hoping that he had enough power on the pass to get away. Here we have Tavernier. Always know he's going to win that with his power. And unusual if he can do this, but it worked. And that's a terrible, terrible pass to Tavernier. But McCrory steps in. Brilliant for the young lad. And the ball's going to try and get played over the top to Cummins. He's not going to make it. Or the ball's not going to make it over the top. Doherty over the top to Murray. Murphy. He's going to take a quick touch in. Going to try and open it up a bit. And it's a poor pass. You can see in his eyes he was attempting to play that across the pitch. But for some reason his legs didn't do the same. Seems like they've also wanted to just pass it straight into the middle. And the ball goes out for a corner. Martin does well there. What can we do here? Greg Doherty in the middle. And Fodenham takes it safely. It's going to lay it down, play it out to John. John's going to try and continue the play down the wind as quick as he can. Murphy should have the legs to get there. He does. Can he bust by? Nope. And it looks like he's ran out of energy just before he's got to the bust and slowed up. Be unlucky there. Right, here we go, Doherty. 
Declan John. Can he do it? Can he open something up here? He's going to step into the middle. He's going to try and play it through to Windass. Windass is going to take a good touch around him. Just can't quite buy the man. Gets a wee dink into the middle, but it looks like he couldn't figure out where to go with Doherty and moved away. So Murphy's out here. Lovely. Battles his way through. Come on, you can win this. Oh, and he's unlucky. So it's been a good wee game for Rangers so far. 2-0 up. There's our Jay's gimmicks. Also, kind of Ronald Coleman lookalike. Team's looking good. Playing good. And it's a good start. And Candace is unlucky by just hitting it wide. So, as you can tell us, this new look of the series. We're going to be playing full games. We're still not done this game, but we're going to be playing full games. Going right through it. Talking about it. Going to be 15 minute episodes, roughly. And basically, you're going to come along the journey... And everyone's going to be watchable as if it was watching on the TV. Lovely. So Murphy, obviously, as I've said multiple times now, is great to play with. But I think since we're very clearly winning this game now... And we're not really getting challenged much. I might try and try try little Middleton on the pitch, see how he does. Declan John, brilliant wee bit of pace there. Oh, and it's a terrible, terrible pass for Doherty though. Can do here, Declan John. Get out there, he's got the legs on the boy. He does brilliantly. But he's been really unlucky, the boy's fell on top of the ball and he can't get round him. But McCrory steps in as pair. And he's been solid this game. Dockett's going to try and burst. And he's opened the gap here. Or Cummins has opened the gap here. But Dockett couldn't quite thread it through. Windass. Windass unlucky there. Gets a wee bounce off the other boy. Dockett comes in like a powerhouse. Windass gets the ball. And he opens himself up. And he gets himself a hat trick. First game of the season in a hat trick. Windass is starting the season off on a high. Brilliant bit of play. 3 0 Rangers, 75 minutes. Come on, the boys in red. Normally, boys in blue, but St Johnson are playing in blue, so we need, to, we need to wing it a bit. Windass on fire, and with that, I'm going to give him a well deserved rest. He's got his hat trick now. So, we're going to bring on Jason Holt and Middleton. Let's see how they do. Looking forward to Middleton, actually. Especially for where they came from, but we'll need to see. Jason Cummins, baby. Jason Cummins, oh. Let's see if we can get a goal with Jason. Oh, and that's a lovely, lovely wee clearance for Ryan Jack. No, seen that before. Very orthodox there. And the ball goes wide. What do we do here? Fodderham plays it in Martin. He's going to lay it out. And Assassin's Creed seems to have installed, so all my games seem to have decided to install while I'm doing a recording, so that's great. Hopefully it's not removing the immersion, you know what I mean? That was an attempted ball over to Ryan Jack, didn't quite come off there. We Jason Holtz in the middle here. Lovely we win for Doherty, he's been brilliant in there, dead powerful. Jason Cummins, he manages to battle through one, but he can't quite get there before the second man. There we go, Jason comes us through, can he score? Oh, and he hits it just wide. Hope we can drag that across the goalkeeper there to start something. So it looks like St Johnston are going more attacking. I'm sure Olsen is a right mid or a right back or something like that, so uh, bring another striker for him. Middleton, let's see how quick here. Oh, lovely wee bit of play there for Middleton. Cummins into the middle. Ryan Jack. Bit late back to Holt. Candace. Oh, and Candace just can't quite get the turn in and lay off to Holt for the return. That's been a lovely wee one two for a goal there. So, defenders just go set back. There's no need for them to push. Ryan Jack's got us covered. Or, thought we did. But as you can tell, St Johnson are all out of attack. So, we have a lot of space for our strikers. 
or for specifically Cummins to break into if we win the ball. Uh, it looks like a free kick's been given instead for some reason. Okay. We're going to position we hold we up here for a breakaway. Jason Cummins got the ball here. Lays it out Candace. Oh, and Candace takes a big touch and pays the price for it. Luckily, it's not an important time where we need a goal. It's all right. But I'd like them to take a better chance of that. Oh, and talking about that, we did end up properly paying for it because we've lost a goal and we've lost our clean sheet in the first game of the season. Been a good game overall. Good finish there, but a bit lousy. All came for Kandias taking a big touch rather than taking his time and bursting away when we had two on one at the, up at the opposite side of the pitch. Cummins has the ball here. Oh, and he's unlucky. Tries to play it on. Here's St. Johnson still trying to power through. The game's lot gone. There's no chance to win it yet, but they could maybe get 3-2 and make the game look a lot more respectful than it has been. Here's the ball through to Jason Cummins. What can he do with it? Oh, and he turns the man beautifully. Straight through. Can he finish? Oh, and it's a disgraceful finish to Jason Cummins. After an amazing, amazing bit of play, puts it wide. Can only hope that got a horrible bobble, that's for sure. Terrible. Terrible We start to the Jason Cummins era, but there we go. 3-1, Josh Windass on absolute fire. And the first game of the Premier League season is a success. Rangers, three points on the board, plus two goal difference. I will change the numbers and I'll catch you in the next episode. These videos are going to be daily. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Sub if you want to see some more. And come on, the boys in blue.